When most traders think about swing trading, they think in terms of time. They think about how long they're going to be in a trade, you know, but they don't really factor something that's much more important than the time frame you trade on if you're considering yourself a swing trader or swing trading. And that is that you need to look at the cycle. You need to look at what is a swing do? A swing moves in a certain pattern. So when you learn the right pattern of swing trading, then you can really become a swing trader. Let's look at the Investopedia definition of swing trading. Swing trading is a style of trading that attempts to capture short to medium term gains in a stock over a period of a few days to several weeks. Again, the focus is on time. Swing traders primarily use technical analysis to look for trading opportunities. Swing traders may utilize fundamental analysis in addition to analyzing price trends and patterns. It's very interesting to me. The most important thing they put at the end patterns what people really don't understand that if you're truly swing trading it's not about the time frame it's not about how long you stay in the trade it's about understanding how the market moves and taking the proper swing in swing trading so let's go deeper hey guys how's it going jd here so again people look at swing trading the wrong way most people think about time right most people break it up because you say hey scalpers are are on the one minute time frame and under right or five minute time frame maybe you think that you know swing traders are probably on the hour chart four hour chart day chart right and then long-term traders you know are weekly chart monthly chart right so typically you know the type of trader you are has been broken up into time Okay, but that's not 100% accurate. Like most things in the market, right? Like most things in the market, that's not 100% accurate <laughs> because I personally consider myself a swing trader, but I, but sometimes I take scalp trades. Like my sweet spot trade is actually, it was built from scalping, but since we wait until it gets to the sweet spot and we're trying to catch the second leg of the market cycle, it's actually a swing trade. So it can be taken as a scalp or a swing trade. That's why one minute can work, three minutes can work. I personally like five minutes, 10 minutes can work, 15 minutes can work. And that, that's all because it's a swing trade, okay? But it's not just based on time. It's more to it than time. You have to understand the market cycle. You have to understand a swing, right? The, the key is in the, <laughs> it's in the phrase, swing trading. So what happens when you swing, right? It's a bat forward, bat forward. If I'm swinging a baseball bat, right? Or if you're on the, on the swing set at the, at the school, what happens? You start it. Sometimes you got somebody to push you. You went forward, you came back. You went forward, you came back. You was in the flow. You were swinging, right? You were swinging. So what am I saying? I'm saying this. What I'm saying is saying this. In trading, real swing trading is understanding when the swing is going to happen. And for those of us who are who understand the market cycle, all right? For those of us who understand the rule of 2, this fits perfectly into it. This is why we're swing traders because we understand the market cycle, okay? So members of my community, my students, we all wait for prices to what? Get to the sweet spot so we can catch the second leg of a market cycle, which is actually the swing, all right? Some of you have never seen it before, okay? So we're gonna go to a chart and I'm gonna show you what the swing and swing trading really is. Let's go to the charts. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at this. I should have a few to show you. Um, from the markups that we posted in the community earlier today. So check this out. The market moves in twos, right? It's the rule of two. I talk about it all the time. I talk about the market cycle. The market cycle is trend, trend break, retest to a new low or new high, depending on which way the market is going. Trend, trend break, retest to a new high or low. That's the market cycle, okay? Let me show you where the swing is in the market cycle. So here we go. We're trending down, right? We're clearly trending down. We're under the 21 EMA, which is our guide. No surprise, we're trending down. But boom, once we shoot up higher here, now we're above the 21 EMA. So here's your trend down. Here's your trend break, right? 
So we're trend now we're clearly trending up, right? We're above the 21 EMA and we get right into our sweet spot. And again, you know, my students and my community members know why this box is here and how to use it. So we get here. What do we expect when we get to the sweet spot? We expect to catch the second leg of this downtrend, the second leg of the market cycle because the market moves in twos. But for the purpose of this video, this area right here is the swing, right? What does the swing do? We pushed up, come back. Now what are we gonna do? Push back down. That's the swing and swing trading. Okay, did you see it? Let's, let's find some more, let's find some more. Okay, we can start even from here. All right, here, we're under the EMA, right? We're under the 21 EMA. Then we trend up. Trend break, retest the new high. All right, what do we expect to happen now? We expect to get a second leg down. So we expect another swing down here. This here, this area here starts the swing and swing trading. Okay, you guys see it? It's, it goes exactly with the market cycle. Swing, real swing trading is nothing but understanding the market cycle and the fact that how we trade it by trying to catch the second leg of a market cycle. All right, let's see, let's find it somewhere else today. Let's see if I can find it somewhere else too. Okay, here we go. Hold on, let the computer catch up. Okay. See this. Okay, there we go. We were clearly trending up. Then we got under the MA, trend down, trend break, retest the new low, right into where? The sweet spot. Isn't the sweet spot wonderful, people? Okay. And once we get in the sweet spot, what are we expecting? A, a swing back up that's going to match this leg over here. This was the first push up. This was leg one. And then the swing and swing trading would be leg two right here. And we just happened to know where it was going to start. <laughs> because of our knowledge of Fibonacci retracement zones. And so right here is where you get the swing up. Okay. So, and look, and look how I kept going. Beauty, beautiful. So I think that was the example was that. Yeah. So that's the example long trend up two legs back. Boom. Two legs up. That's perfect. That's perfect price action right there. That is perfect price action okay so that's an example going long we already did the example going short right here um let's see what else was out here today let's see if we find one more here we go again here we go again okay just in case if you still don't believe we're trending down here's our first leg right then boom Trend up, trend break, retest the new highs, pause right where we expect. And then what are we looking for? The swing, okay, back down that matches this leg, which we call the second leg of the market cycle, which would be that retest leg. Trend, trend break, retest the new low. So in this case, this is a trend, trend break, retest the new low. See it? I'll do it again. Trend, trend break, retest to new low. So the strategy that we use, we're trying to catch the retest to the new low or new high, which is also the swing and swing trading. There it is. Boom. Here, you know what I'm saying? Look no further. If you want to become a tra swing trader, <laughs> if you want to actually trade the markets with the swing trade, there it is. Now, here's the thing. This is why I say it's more important to understand the market cycle than it is to think about time. Here's why. Every example that I showed you was on a one minute time frame. Okay. That was a one minute time frame. But we're still taking a swing trade. You know, when I'm trading binary options, I'm trading for like 30 minutes to an hour a day. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to stay in these. These are five minute trades, right? Um, but yet it's a swing trade. So see a swing trade isn't based solely on time. Okay. 
in my opinion, if you're truly swing trading, you're trying to catch the second leg, which is kind of what the definition said. You know, it says you're trying to catch a significant run, you know, but then they added time into it, which confuses people. But we're, what you're really trying to do is catch the second leg of a significant push down. OK, and so that's what we're doing when we do uh, a swing trade. So but, but check it out, though. Let me prove to you that it's just not about time. It's about the market cycle because this is binary options all right i just showed you all these examples and binary options let's go over to the community real quick where we do forex trades also so here's the binary options markup so boom everybody who saw this markup this morning made money bam let's go i didn't mean to go through this but there's another one too here yep everybody who saw this pound audit that i posted at 505 a.m they made money boom Okay, but let me get back on task. Trade ideas. So the trade ideas is for the forex. Okay, so when you see these trade ideas, got a couple going. Let me see one that's already finished here. This is a swing trade. This this last Bitcoin we took. Okay, this last Bitcoin we took. It was a winner. Hit target one and target two. So I put this one in on four nine at two thirteen p.m. Okay, you see this? Here's the trend up. Here is the trend break right into our sweet spot. What are we expecting now? We're expecting to catch the second leg, right? The retracement leg and boom, by golly, Miss Molly, we did. So here's the thing though, this Forex trade, this was a four hour trade. See in the Forex, we trade on the four hour time frame, And so, you know, we put this in, in at 2.13 PM on four nine. And yeah, we was in this trade till 410. So the swing trade, it can work on a, a, a one minute chart like we do in binary options, or it can work on a four hour chart like we do in the Forex. So my point is this is not about the time. It's about the market cycle. Okay. It's about understanding that the market moves in twos, the market moves in a certain way, and it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter whether it's binary options, it doesn't matter whether it's Forex, it doesn't matter whether it's futures, it doesn't matter whether it's stocks. This is how the market moves. I'm, I'm giving you guys such a secret right now. The market moves in a predictable market cycle, okay? And when you understand how to look for it, then you can trade it, and then you'll be a swing trader. And it doesn't matter whether you on, only on a minute chart, a five minute chart, a 30 minute chart, an hour chart, you look for the same pattern. You look for the market cycle, whatever time frame you want to trade on. You know, you're not bound by time. You know, most people would be like, oh, I'm a swing trader, so I got to trade on the hour chart. No, that's not true. That's not true. If you know how to look for the swing, then you can trade anywhere. Let's, let's check out another one. Let's see, we got anything going short? Uh, well, we had a loser here. It happens. Let's see. Okay. Here was a winner. We put this trade in on four, four. Okay. Put this boy on at four, four. We didn't get out to four, eight. So we was in this trade four days. So now, now, so now most people would be like, all right, now that's a regular swing trade, but it don't, you don't gotta be in four days, but this one took four days to hit. But look, we had to trend up clear trend break came back to our sweet spot well really from here trend up trend break came back to our sweet spot then what happened boom rocket it up right why because the market moves in two okay and when you understand that then trading becomes so much more easy especially in the forex i mean we just put this trade on set it forget it you know what i mean and wait for it to hit your targets that's it you know, it's, 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 oh man, I love Forex. It's just set it, forget it, you know, boom. Okay. But it's the same thing. We're not, it's the same. It's basically the same strategy that we're doing in binary options. It's just that we're doing it on a four hour chart and binary options. We're doing it on a one minute chart. You know what I'm saying? Because in binary options, you don't want to stay in no trade for no four days. Right. You, I don't even know if you can. <laughs> so the binary options market in overall is more of a scalpers market. But what we've done is taking price action trading, combined it with the fundamentals of Fibonacci retracement zones, and we created a swing trade for binary options that downright works, people, okay? Because 
because it's the swing trade, swing trading is a natural price action pattern that occurs in the market each and every day. And when you learn how to spot it, when you learn how to trade it in the fashion that we trade it, then you will have success. My members of the community, my students, we are all winning in the binary options market and the Forex market all due to the understanding of what swing trading really is. We know how to put the swing <laughs> and swing trading and now you have the secret too all right so this is a great time to like share and subscribe i greatly appreciate you tuning in and watching this video all the way through hey take a look at the community you know what i'm saying it is wonderful I, i'm just gonna call it what it is it's wonderful you know what i'm saying and if you need to learn more price action trade and check out more videos on this channel check out the playlist everything is here for you all right so i'm signing off my name is jd and as always i wish you increase on the sun. Bye-bye.